This video I, you're about to see isn't for one that was scheduled for today. I was meant to be doing for Alton Model Railway Show, but due to the snow, I wasn't able to do it. So we're having next week's video today, and then hopefully I'll get the video out tomorrow of the Alton Show. So uh, now for me from a few weeks ago. Hello, and welcome to Train Symphiatic. You might notice that uh, I'm looking slightly different. That's because I have just had to do a camera upgrade as I've been having some serious sound issues. So uh, this episode might look slightly different, but hopefully the content will be the same. So let's start for titles and we can see what we're doing today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, show videos I've put up for the last few weeks. Um, I have actually recorded this before those were recorded. But um, today's project is this little unit. And then we're going to look at the Woodland Scene Just Plug uh, system. I bought a few bits of that for uh, Thumper Road. Uh, so let's start off with this and then see where about we get to. So what is this unit? Does help if I have it the correct way up. This is a volts and uh, amp meter because I want to measure how much uh, electricity is being used on my 12 volt circuit. From what I have read this is DC only but it will give you volts and amps. And with this, I got this lovely big watch of cable. So let's zoom out to Ted and move this out of the way. So, you in the pack, you get a lovely battery pack, and you get these three these wires. You connect the battery pack up to these wires. Then you have the orange one which is sensing for amps if I remember correctly. Then you have this on the uh, which one is it? On the arm um, positive lead as your first thing to go through. And this gives you the volts being drawn. So quite a simple system. Then I got this to connect it to the uh, 12 volt system and that for the other end. So what I'll do next is do a full railway shutdown and then I can um, install this. Next you'll see is uh, for first connections. This is for voltmeter and meter installed and you can see you've got the wires coming in for back the battery and sensor and other one there. Make sure to get them for the right way around otherwise you don't get a signal. Reason for this is reading zero on everything is because my system isn't beat it up yet. So what I do is beat up the system and then you'll be able to see my current draw. You can see as things beating up, the power changed slightly as more and more equipment starts to draw electricity. And that was me knocking a cable out. You can see as everything is loading up for amperage is 0.43 amps and the voltage is a bit high at 13 point something amps. But that's because there isn't much of a load on the transformer. But I will consider changing the transformer at some point because it meant to be a 12 volt system. 
I want to see if I can one one of these for my 16 volt alternating current system and now we can go to my desk and look up for just plug system this is for Woodland Scene just plug system um, it's sold by Batman in the UK and I bought several bits of it. I bought this dart set. I also bought this set of lights. And I bought the UK power pack. Um, it, in this I'll be looking at all three bits. Having a quick little play. And then putting them back. All these bits are destined for our thumper lane. As I think it could do with a bit of light in it. So, uh, I'll quickly pause the camera and then we can start on for start kit. This is for the start kit. Uh, it's a JP5700 and you get in it a uh, Easy way to add lights to any project, include two warm uh, LED stick and lights, dimmer control, adjust, adjust individually port brightness, and easy to add uh, auxiliary, auxiliary switch if you want. So I'll take this out and we can see what we actually get in here. So we get the arm. Um, Part of a system which is for light hub. You then go and get not one but two uh, LEDs, and then you get a uh, mounting hardware which is either double sided tape or screws. On the dimmer unit. You have your power in, you then have your control socket whereabout you can plug in uh, the on off switch and then you have four uh, outputs whereabout you can plug in for lights. And as you can see they'll only plug in one way and that just plugs in like that and can be taken out. Uh, these are the lights, which have a self adhesive uh, pad on the back. Uh, you can buy the lights individually, you can buy all units individually. So it's, you got the resistors in there it feels like. And then the wire get to a nice thinner gauge. And it's a good long length. Uh, so that's that and in this pack you got two of them so I'll go and uh, undo one of the other packs I forgot to say about the items on the front you got your power in there you got little areas where but you can mark the thing and numbers and then you have little knobs where about you can set for brightness. Uh, what I'll do is plug these in so that when we put power on the system we can see them. So that's those two plugged in. So I will now go and uh, grab the transformer pack. This is how the transformers come and it's available in many different uh, countries uh, types. So you've got the EU uh, type C and that's 230 volts. The UK which is what I've got in here which is type G plug. And then you've got for Australia and New Zealand a 240 type 1 plug. So as I'm in for UK it's a UK one I bought. And then to get in, just lift the back off. 
You then got all the instructions on the label. And you get this nice little transformer. So what you do with this is you put this end into the control unit on that port. And then you put this in your plug. Uh, what I'll do is I'll now go and plug it in and we can see how this base unit work. I've now plugged this in so I'll turn on the power. And we can see that the two lights light up. So what I'll do is I'll adjust them all down to the lowest setting. And then just gradually turn it up. And you can see that that's quite a nice dull light. With LEDs they have an interesting feature that they have a minimum voltage to turn on. But you can go below that to uh, get a nice uh, level. So you need to turn it up to it light but then you can turn it back down again. So that's quite a nice light there. I'll do the same with this one. Let's have this as a nice bright light. So you can see I got quite a dull light on that one and a bright light on that one. So we can see how the street lights go. These are the uh, just plug street light concrete lamp JP5677. And you get three in for kit. For some reason, this pack was stapled closed when the others weren't. So what do we get in here? We get a slightly different setup in here. You get an adapter to plug the wires into. You have the street lights with um, long wires on them, which is very thin. And that's nice and thin, so you can actually run it underneath your layout to this. You then get the connectors for it, which is this unit here. And that can plug into the control unit. So uh, what I'll quickly do is set up one of these lights and then we can uh, see how it looks. Coming out of the lights, you've got a red and a black cable. The, these are extremely thin, but you should be able to see that you've got black there and red there. And to connect them to the unit, you twist if you have multiples. Uh, so I'll connect the red as my fingers are big and we'll get in the way of the black. So you just push that down, put your light in, your cable in there, and then it lock off. So this is a really, really easy system. I believe you need to have all three lights in before you power it up, but I'll read the instructions. So I'll come back to you in a second and then we can power the, this complete hub up. The instructions didn't say just run one at a time, so I will, but I'll keep the voltage low. So you can see that it gives a nice glow. I think uh, Woodland Scene have came up with a really nice system here and I look forward to seeing this all in the, um, in Thumper Road. With this done I'll send you back to the layout and do the outro of this video. So as you can tell from this jumper this isn't for ending recording for this video. Uh, like I said at the beginning, um, I'll be um, hopefully doing for the Ultimate Model Railway Show tomorrow. I don't have a clue what next week's video will be because I'm now out of sync from whereabouts I should be. 
but you can be guaranteed to have a video next next week so thank you for watching and hopefully we'll have a video for you tomorrow i'm not quite sure what the up upload time will be but thank you for watching and see you all next time richard